And so, yes, when I'm organizing the letters of the word, quote, five could have gone in the first position. Once I've chosen the first position, however, there are only four letters left. And so in the second position, I have an opportunity to put in four letters. In the third position, three. In the fourth position, two. And then when I get to the fifth position, there's only one choice left. And so I can actually find the number of permutations of the letters of the word, quote, by multiplying these all together, five times four times three times two times one. And so there's a special button on your calculator that will do this for you, and that's the factorial button. And so you'll notice that this is the one button on your calculator that involves a certain amount of enthusiasm. There's the little exclamation mark. So this means five factorial, that means five times four times three times two times one. Any other number, you're just going and multiplying together successively reduced integers all the way down to one when you're using the factorial button. Now you'll notice in our examples, uh, this is permutations one, you'll notice in our examples that we used all of the letters so far. That's important to realize. The second thing that's important is to realize there were no repeated letters in the word quote. If we have repeated letters, we need to use sort of the same reasoning, but we need a little bit different mechanism to deal with the fact that we can't tell the difference between one Q and another.